There have been many moments where a ghost has made its presence known right in front of us. Good examples of this are the Whaley House, the Star of India, and even the Clown Motel. These were very supernatural and frightening experiences. Oh my, oh my God, man. What's going on? Wait, 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 John Campbell, John Campbell. But all three of us can agree that there was one specific moment that made us truly believe in ghosts. 100%. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. So we were all just chilling, talking about some ghost experiences, and we were all just wondering what that one moment was that really made us believe in ghosts. So the crazy thing is with me, like you both know, yeah. I'm not like a firm believer in ghosts. I've always been very skeptical. Yeah, like dumb. <laughs> is there one moment, at least one? That's what I was gonna lead into. There's one moment that oh. kind of made me question it to this day. Ooh, I'm still know. like kind of thinking about, it, cause it's crazy. I don't usually go through that. Was it with yeah. us? Yeah. I've known Noah for five years and he's been on so many haunted adventures. And every time after we film, I'm like, Noah, what'd you think of that? And he was like, bro, like, I just don't believe it. I don't know how I'm like, wait, but explain to me how don't you believe it when you're literally behind the camera knowing that it's all happening right before our eyes. So we're gonna go one by one and tell each other that exact moment that made you a firm believer in ghosts. Okay, I already know mine. Me too. Since you were a non-believer, how about we start with you? Okay. I ordered ice cream. Wait, how did you guys just spawn that in? We just, we got it. But I feel like you guys will know right away because I think you both sensed it too. So, spill the beans. Las Vegas. Mm. Clown Motel? Nope. Zach oh, Bagans. Oh, Zach Bagans. Yes. Hey, we'll see you guys on the see other side. Guys. Okay, I'm with you, bro. Yeah. I'm with you for sure. So, the whole entire time that we were in there, I went in with the same mindset. This one was a little bit amplified because this exact experience was 10 times what we have usually done. The energy when you walked into that museum, bro, I almost passed out like three different times in there. I personally have never had this much anxiety in my life. I really feel off. As you guys both know, we went through the whole entire place, you know, room by room. What was the uh, room called? It was like the room filled with all like the murder artifacts from every killer. Oh, I know, to the memorabilia. Room. Yeah, that's his ash ball. Uh -huh. Back here, Zach has bone fragments and ash of Charles Manson right there. Wait, that's insane. Look, bone fragments of his. That was Those are real. Night stalker. Yeah, that was crazy. That was oh, John Wayne Gacy too. Bro. Seeing all those things compiled in one place, and there are so many more that we went through. By the time that we got to Peggy. Oh gosh. It was a moment that we all didn't expect to happen. It kind of happened like very last second. Yeah, when he called? Yeah, randomly. He offered for you to go in there and look at Peggy in the eyes. Have you even gone in there and looked at her in the eyes? No, no, no. And I remember, you're like, who's gonna go with me? And at that moment, that's when I got scared the most. So at that moment, the fear in your head, I don't believe in ghost but yeah. if brian asked me to go in the room i would not to look at peggy yeah. in the face i don't want to do that because now yeah. i'm starting to think it's real i heard like you can curse your whole family tree hearing that i'm not gonna do something like that and was there anything like in zach bagan's museum that you saw or heard that like added to that i think just the energy in the air with the zach bagan's museum thing like the Peggy part felt like a movie. We were on our way out. We finished investigating the whole place. Random call from Zach Bagans himself. Jessica flinched and turned around and I flinched and turned around because we see a hand coming at us with a phone. And Zach Bagans gave me an opportunity to hold Peggy, not just look her in the eyes. If we open the case to Peggy for the first time in like four years, why don't you guys go up there and I'll let you guys touch her. For those who don't know, if you look Peggy in the eyes, you get cursed. You'll have a string of bad luck for I don't know how long. You could be cursed forever for all I know. So after that phone call, we actually were debating whether to look Peggy in the eyes. You called Sam and Colby. I did, I called Sam. We have never gotten more emails in our life about people that after they looked at the doll, even through our video, had like horrible luck and horrible things happen to them for weeks. On one hand, I would say it's a horrible, horrible idea. <laughs> but at the same time, I think if you do 
it with respect and you do it with good intention, you're gonna be okay. We were debating whether or not to do it for at least 45 minutes. It was getting late. The whole time I was telling him, no, like don't do it. I knew that I was gonna do it with you. That's why I didn't want you to do it. And then when you're like, I'm gonna do it. I was like, okay. At that point, something just flicked in my mind. Like, let's just go do it, bro. I was very skeptical. I was very scared, but we were respectful to Peggy. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Hey, Peggy. Hello. Uh, my name is Brian. Hello, this I'm is Sherman. And uh, we just want to introduce ourselves. Thank you for having us. We come with uh, respect and peace. Um, we were told by Zach to talk to you. Thank you for having us. Right after that, we left. Before we continue, I want to just do something real quick. I got the REM pod here. Hey. I feel like I might as well just set it up behind us. So I haven't even mentioned what actually happened to me as far as bad luck after the museum. Pretty much the very next day we got back from Vegas, I get a text from my guy at the dealership. He said there's a dangerous recall on your car, meaning it was very dangerous to drive. So many things started like going on through my mind. I'm like- And you use your car every day. Exactly, yeah, like nothing has happened and it's, oh wow, what a coincidence. Right after I looked Peggy in the eyes, that happened. That's a small one. The very next day we had a video shoot that we had planned for for at least a month. So the morning comes, I'm ready to film, I'm super excited. The people that we set this video up with canceled the video. No specific reason, no nothing. They just said, hey, we don't wanna do the video with you anymore. Right after that, I'm like, that's Peggy. A few days later, my nose starts bleeding, which is what Zach Bagans told me is common when people look Peggy in the eyes, is that you get a nosebleed. So my nose started bleeding and I'm like, okay, now I confirmed that this has to be because I look Peggy in the eyes. I don't wanna have any regrets in my life, Life, but that's one thing where I'm like, you know what? Why did I do that? We should have just walked out of the museum, but we're it's kind of hard to say no. It's hard to say no, especially when like one of the top ghost hunters in the world is like, hey, go look her in the eyes. Something is telling me that you need to do it. And I'm like, oh man, like, do we do it? Do we leave? Would my fans want me to do it? Would they not? Like, I just got put in like a crazy predicament where I'm like, you know what? I'm a daredevil. I'm used to doing stuff like this. I was gonna ask you, I mean, you looked her in the eyes too. Did anything happen to you? Mm -mm. I kind of got worried like, like, are things gonna start happening? And then the next day you call me again, you won't believe what happened. The next day you won't believe what, like things back to back to back that made me like, Dang. Yeah. As the time went on, like other things were happening, but then I had to tell myself, I can't keep blaming these on the paranormal. Yeah, doll, yeah. yeah cause then you'll just be trapped in that same mindset. I think the Zach Bacon's museum was crazy. Yeah, so do you wanna go next? I wanna go last. I don't wanna talk about mine right now. Mine's right. kinda crazy. The Spirit Halloween oh, brother. I can't believe that. The banging on the wall in that video. No, 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 no. When I tell you guys the sequence of events in that video was the most mind blowing story I tell to this day. When I say that nothing tops that, this didn't make me believe in ghosts because I believed in ghosts like before that. But I will say if there was any doubt in my mind, this solidified it. So Brian calls me and he's like, yo, I was at Spirit Halloween. The employees were telling me that Spirit Halloween is haunted. So I asked them if I could film a video there and they were down for it. And I was like, Spirit Halloween, like the costume store? He's like, yeah, the costume store. I'm like, do you think you're gonna like get content there? Like you yeah. think that anything is really there? And he's like, well, it doesn't hurt to like go try. And so we go there right off the bat. No, you remember we were joking around in the beginning. Yeah. Spirit Halloween is filled with so many animatronics yeah. that can get triggered by motion so i was like that's a perfect way to start calling out for spirits and if there are spirits in that spirit halloween they'll make stuff go off they did more than that i was so wrong and you were so right i will admit that because i thought it wasn't going to be crazy and then we get in there right off the bat my face turns to panic they set up the rem pod i am a firm believer in real life things but when a spirit or a demon makes a noise in real life or touches you that is where you're out of, oh, that could have been a coincidence. So when that happens, it is absolutely terrifying. This demon that we dealt with made the animatronic go off. Dude, Noah, I'm gonna refresh your memory. Brian puts down the music box. He tells the spirit, he says, if there's anybody in this spirit Halloween, can you please make this coffin shaped device go off? Just Instantly. walk in front of it. Right away, it goes off. If there's any spirits in this spirit Halloween, we know you're present. If you can walk in front of that coffin shaped device, you did it a few times. It'll just let us know that you're present. Hello! Oh, hey, 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 hey! Right after that, the animatronic on the far right goes off. We're nowhere near. Brian's like, yo, back up. 
Bro, how would that go off? Thank you for letting us know you're here. We just stepped back so we don't trigger the animatronic. Guys, I always want to try to like debunk everything in the moment so nobody's like, oh, well, you guys were close to the animatronic. I always want to make sure that we're doing everything the right way. So Brian's like, yo, go all the way back. This wall is literally covering the animatronic from us. If there's a spirit out there, can you uh, do that again? Boom. Right away. So this is a safe zone right here. I just want to get a better view. If you can make that doll animatronic go off, you walked from the music box in front of it. Mm. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. That it was like mad that you kept asking it to do that. So after that, an employee said that the whole costume wall started shaking one day. A week ago, there was an associate closing the store. It was just her and another person. And all of a sudden, a whole wall with costumes start to shake and they all fall off. No, bro, why are we here right now? I didn't believe it. And then Brian goes to the bathroom and we hear like a big bang. I'm like, that was probably Brian. It was off camera. Off camera, cameras were off. And then Brian looks back and he's like, turn the camera on. I rush, grab the camera and turn it on. We go to the back wall and the costume wall is shaking. Bro. No earthquake, no nothing because the walls beside bro. it with other costumes were not shaking. I don't know how to turn this on. Wait, wait, wait. Start wait, recording. Wait. Start recording. Yo. Oh my gosh. Yo. Wait, what's moving? Hey, what's moving? Look, look, they're moving. Bro, look, even this Yo, one. Yo, look, look, look. <gasps> then there was a huge bang like off camera. We all ducked. We're like, what the heck was that? Like, turn the camera on, turn the camera on. I could see in Brian's face every time I rewatched that clip. He's looking like we just missed that. Like something that people won't believe until you catch it on camera. Like no one would believe I it. I feel like there's a lot of those. Too it does times. happen. This would have been the most missed opportunity. Show it right now. Look at this clip, bro. Guys, what the heck? No, no, no. There was a loud bang. Oh! Yo, what the? Yo, what the? Yo! Yo, 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 yo! Yo, are you tripping? Is this a prank? Yeah, you're trolling, right? Wait, wait, is that a prank? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Is something here? You could literally see Brian's face. I like duck duck like someone like shot a missile at him or something. Dude, because that was the most real sound I've ever heard. Usually if you hear like knocking or anything through a haunted investigation, like it's super subtle. It's like kind of like a, like a very faint. This one was like a gunshot. Boom, like loud as if like someone human was in that store. And let me just clarify, it was me. Yep. You, Noah, Amanda, the medium, and Brandon, the manager of the store. We all looked at him. We're like, Brandon, is there someone else here? Please, we're actually scared. Reveal it's a prank to us. Like, tell us someone's here. He's like, I promise His you. face, He bro? was scared. We dip out. Then we hear a weird noise. Oh, like, no. Something like clapping, clapping. I'm like, what is that? Right this here? is the cherry on top. Yes. We hear like something like banging and we hear like an animatronic maybe. We're not paying attention to it because we don't know what it is. And then maybe two, three minutes later, we hear it again. And this time, like, everyone stops and looks at each other. Amanda, the medium, goes, it's the monkey. You're probably wondering what's the monkey if you've never seen the video. Earlier, in like, the very beginning of that video, we walked by a rack that had a zombified monkey with two, they're called crash symbols. I said like, oh, this is creepy. And Brian turned around and said, imagine if that goes off. I said, yeah, right. Actually, I'm not going back there alone. Let's go Oh my gosh, if that went off, bro. Yeah. Hours later. Hours later. Two o'clock in the morning, right after these bangs, the monkey goes off. Brian tries the monkey, nothing happens. Yeah. We literally tried the monkey in the back, and look what happened. That's a monkey. The monkey. Wait. But where's the. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Like, how does this go off? Look. Oh, here. No. No, please don't tell me that actually works. Wait. It... It's one of the. It doesn't even... No, 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 no. It was that. No, no, it did not go off. It was that. Dog. That is a staple in my life that no matter what anybody in the world tells me, I'll say, you didn't see what I saw. I can say it 100%. Give me the biggest non-believer in the world. Put them in my situation right there. 100% they'll believe it. We all left the Spirit Halloween, including the manager. Okay, we'll say it how it is. We were skeptical of the manager. Of course, we were skeptical because we're like, dude, that's insane. We thought, okay, the manager is in playing a prank on us. He locks up, turns the alarm on, leaves. He gets in his car. 
car leaves the parking lot. Mind you, it's two o'clock in the morning. Giant parking lot. The only cars there were mine, Ryan's, and Noah's. And we were all next to each other. We stayed there for 30 minutes. Yup. Hoping to just see someone come out of the Spirit Halloween. Nothing. The lights are off. The alarm is on. The door is locked. And this guy is long gone for 30 minutes straight. There's no other explanation, but yeah. a demon. There's a lot of stuff that you could like call coincidence, of course. But a lot of the time, especially with this psycho, there's a lot of times where there's no explanation. And I swear to you, if any of you are unfortunate enough to spend the day with this guy at a haunted place, <laughs> it makes it seem so you what's wrong with me? Be laying in bed at night. You just be thinking like, how did that just happen? Hold on, I do want to test that. Okay. It hasn't went off in about 20 minutes. If there are any spirits here or present or in the living room, can you go up to the antenna and touch it? It will not harm you. It'll just let us know that you're here. What was that? It sounded like the garage. Okay. Not in your house where you sleep, bro. I mean, bro, I did a whole investigation here with Sam and Colby, but that's not the story that I'm about to get. Yeah, into. Where are yeah what are you here? Oh man. Let's just say it has to do with a Ouija board. Okay, oh. yeah, of course. I wasn't a full on believer until the Ouija board came into my life. Same. If you have the opportunity to play the Ouija board. Don't. Don't. Do not. So I actually used to have a PO box that I'd have my fans send me stuff. And I'd oh, yeah, I remember that. Some haunted stuff was happening in my house. And I used to literally share every moment with you guys. A lot of ghost stuff happens in our house. Even my dad yesterday said that he put Bosley on his bed to sleep with him because he got scared because he heard noises when he was home alone. Oh, oh. <laughs> And I grabbed all my fan mail and I was doing an unboxing video and someone sent me a Bible along with, lo and behold, a Ouija board. I literally said in the video, I am not doing this. Like I'm not touching the Ouija board at all. Okay, it's a book. Oh wow, it's the Holy Bible. What is this? Oh, hell no. 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 Thank you so much, but I'm not playing this game. A few weeks later, I made the very dumb decision of burning the Ouija board. Oh, yeah. More, a little more. Burn. <laughs> and a few weeks later, I was like, maybe we should just try it. Well, we are about to play the Ouija board game. He's Look at how dark it is in our house. Oh, man. Something sparked in my mind. I think a lot Your of- Your mom. Your mom said to do it. Oh yeah, wait, it was Mama Rug. Guys, Brian's holding everybody hostage in this house. No. <laughs> First off, it was my mom's idea to do this, I oh swear. Oh my God, you guys don't hate me for this. I guess my mom wanted to do the Ouija board. I wasn't opposed to it because if my mom wants to do it, I'm like, shoot, it can't be that bad. So that's how I got introduced to the Ouija board, but that's not the experience I'm talking about. There's a specific experience. One. You were there. Oh, shoot. I didn't know you at the time. It said my name, you said. It did. People oh. think that Noah is the That's ghost. how I spawned in. Noah spawned in through the Ouija board, and now he's haunting me. Whenever Brian told me to do the Ouija board for the first time, I told him it's fake. I don't believe it. And he literally said, you think I'm moving it? I said, yeah, I think you're moving it. He said, okay. Ask a question oh. in your head. Don't even tell me what you're asking. And I said, what is my mom's name in my head? It goes to D-A-L-I-A. -A. That's his mom's That's name. That's my mom's name, Dahlia. That's my first time where I never ever doubted a ghost again. Now I'm curious, what okay. is the moment? It was a time where me and you decided to be dumb and Always, oh, so every year from 15 to 20. Exactly. <laughs> Took the Ouija board to the haunted tunnel. Yeah, you yeah. remember that yeah, day yeah, yeah. when we got there, water was coming out and we said, damn, like we can't go in. Oh my God, the water is, wait, look at it. Dude, of course. I am not stepping in there. And then right when we said like the water like dies down, almost like, come on in. I will never forget this because obviously I did believe in ghosts prior to it. And I already knew that the Ouija board actually worked, but it wasn't until this moment that I I had to question my sanity. Okay. No, I literally questioned it. So we did the Ouija board. We got some answers. It was scary. Yeah, backstory of the haunted tunnel. A drunk driver hit a little girl above it. And the rumor is that that's who haunts the haunted tunnel. So I remember I uploaded the video. I think I was going to Vegas the next day or something. Oh, and I called you. Yeah, I was on my way to Vegas and I get a call from Anthony. And he's like, are you reading the comments on your video? I'm like, no, no, what's happening? He's like, bro, go to this timestamp. Look at all the comments everyone is commenting about this it was around like the 20 minute mark yeah, like 20 minutes and 50 seconds or something so i played it in the car and you could hear a little girl whisper saying keep me company so we asked do you want us to leave does that mean we should go 
the planchette went to no. The planchette is the thing we have our fingers on. And then we said, why don't you want us to go? Why, why you, shouldn't we go? Why do you want us to stay? And then as it was trying to spell something else, you hear a whisper. But we didn't hear that in the moment. No. It was right after we uploaded the video, all the comments were like, dude, look at this timestamp. Do you guys hear that? Because people watch videos with like headphones. They're the real investigators. I yeah, feel like, exactly. Bro, when I tell you my heart sank, I almost wanted to not go to Vegas anymore because I was like scared. Like I understand the Ouija board moving on its own. I would hear noises. My lights would turn off at my house. Like I would hear stuff, but legitimately catching a voice like that, clearly saying keep me company when i said why don't you want us to leave like, and i know we've said we wouldn't go to the haunted tunnel after that and we went back like 88 times <laughs> we're so dumb we're really dumb for that and i always oh say God. it too i don't recommend anyone going to the haunted tunnel i understand it looks like fun and games through the screen because it's entertaining for you guys to watch but when you're actually there in the moment it's really dangerous like i know you guys are gonna do whatever you want to do but if you have ever thought about doing the ouija board take it out of your head one mistake you take your hand off remember what happened to jess when she took her hand off and she started throwing up she started screaming she legitimately got possessed bro like you guys probably think like oh my gosh it's fake bro i'm as skeptical as you i'm one of you sitting next to this guy and i'm seeing it all firsthand dude get that get your hand <laughs> yeah. off me, bro. like i can't imagine what it's like in your house at 3 a.m oh my god please tell them what the video that you have of your tv please please so a random night a week ago i think it was me you and caitlin chilling in the living room the tv just turned on by itself i thought noah was trying to scare me because he's a non-stop troll he legitimately promised he didn't turn on the tv so i turned it off oh my god Imagine dude, turns this is on so right scary. now <laughs> stop so also that day that i was filming with you what was it oh the 7-eleven video oh yeah. yeah yeah and then your video turned on and it was you sam and colby at a haunted place i was like oh while i wait i might as well just watch whoever put this on like thank you no, then you walked in and you're like who put this on tv i was like you didn't play this we all showed our phones none of us played it just turned on randomly of all things to play too it was one of my haunted mm -hmm. videos i really thought someone was trolling me but everyone showed me their phone everyone showed me the remote was like over there nobody turned the tv on okay now this is the scary part that night i'm home alone it's three in the morning i'm sleeping upstairs so guys my room is like right here the living room tv is behind the camera i start hearing voices downstairs oh that my bro. God. No, no, no. i wake yeah. up from my sleep and i hear like like chattering let me show you real quick i texted my security guard it was 5 25 a.m i said are you here he said yeah i'm here i said i'm hearing stuff downstairs i can't tell if the tv randomly turned on can you walk past the living room and let me know if you see the tv on and then he said yeah the tv is on I mean, thankfully it was the TV and it wasn't like 50 people. What scares me is I thought like it was like the TV, you know, like the TV just randomly turns on, but it hasn't happened since. I know you can hear it vividly because there was like a time I spent the night and I was playing a documentary. I said, like, can you turn it down, dog? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now that you guys have heard our experiences, I want to know if you guys have had a personal experience of your own. Oh, I want to read some. We're all going to read the comments. I personally love ghost stories in general. Yes, so yeah. let me know if you guys want to see more styled videos like this. I personally had fun. I think it's chill. We're just talking to the viewers. Great trio. Fun. All right, guys. Peace.